friends. So I'm really excited today because today I'm going to show you different ways that you can use washi tape in your planner. And it can be any kind of planner, doesn't have to be planner specific. If you are a person who likes to functional plan, meaning you want to have space in your planner to write all your stuff out, you don't want it so decorated that you can't even use it. So if you're more of a functional planner, but you still would like some some color, some decor in your planner, washi tape is like the perfect option. I'm gonna go over um, maybe seven different ways that you can use your washi tape in your planner. It's not planner specific, um, but I am gonna be using my personal planner from my company, the Online Biz Mom, so that's our signature work and life planner. That's what I'm gonna be showing you the different washi tape options in. Before we dive in, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you're new here and you are watching this video and you're liking what you're seeing, please give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. That really helps my channel to grow and that way other people can see more planner and mom life and work from home, mom entrepreneur life content. Alright, let's dive in. Okay friends, so before we get started, I wanted to show you what washi tape we are going to be using. And I'm really excited about this. So in May, the first week of May, I think it's like the fourth or fifth, I can't remember for sure. I'll put it down in the notes. Um, my planner shop is gonna be featuring a special artist. Her name, the brand company's name is Melee Co. And she is a mama, woman-owned business. And she has these beautiful washi tapes. And so I'm going to be featuring her washi tapes in my shop as part of my spring launch, spring product launch. And so I will be having these four washi tapes. Um, this one's called Sweetness. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. There we go. This one's called Sweetness. Well, this one's called Plant Lover. This one's called Wildflower, and this one is called Birdie. Now, if you want an even more close-up look, I was showing these washi tapes in my last video, which was about my journey. So if you want an even up more close look, I talk about them in my last video towards the end of the video. It's my journey being a mom entrepreneur video. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can use washi tapes. So I just wanted to mention that, that these washi tapes are by Melee Co. and I'm gonna be featuring them in my spring product launch coming out first week of May. So let's dive in. Okay, I have I think about seven different ways you can use washi tape. And what I really love about washi tape is that it's very, very functional meaning it's like tape. <laughs> so you can use it in a very functional, practical way, but it adds a little color, it adds a little life, so your, your planner isn't just plain black and white. And it's very versatile too. Okay, so this is, like I said, all my tips are going to be uh, not planner specific. You can use them in any planner, but I'm gonna be using my signature work and life planner. So that's the planner I'm gonna be showing you in. So one of the first ways to use washi tape really simply is to use it as a bookmark. So as you can see up here up top, let me shove this on a little bit. Okay, perfect. As you can see up top, I have a couple little bookmarks. Okay, it's a monthly page. And what's nice about washi tape is that it peels off so nice. It peels off really nice. It doesn't leave a mark or residue. It doesn't rip your paper. Um, so what I just did is I just cut off a little strip of washi tape and then I folded back a little piece of one side. And now I just have like just a little bookmark that I can move around um, and reposition on any page I want as a little bookmark so I can see it at the top of my page. So I have two different little bookmarks here so I know where I'm going. So that's really practical. Um, for any planner really I mean some planners come with tabs these ones I've got on Amazon I also have a link for that um, but if you need more up top or if you don't have any tabs you want some up on the side that's one way you can use your washi tape just cut off a little strip 
And like I said, they're totally reusable. You can peel them off, put them on the next page, and there you go, instant bookmark. Second way to use washi tape, like I said, it's really practical, is like tape. So if you have any little cards, business cards, appointment reminder cards, even a little picture, a coupon, um, anything that you want to keep in your planner that you might need or want to save, you can use your washi tape to just tape it on. So this is the little business card that Melee Co. sent me, also super duper cute. And it has a little thank you and her contact info. So I wanted to keep that in my planner. And so all I did was take a little strip of washi tape and taped it right in. So, and then you have like kind of a little door flap. So if you need some information, like I said, a card, a coupon or whatever, you can just tape something right in. And the great thing about washi tape, like we said before, is that it doesn't tear off your paper and it's you can reposition it. Now, my paper is 80 pound paper, so it's a very thick, very sturdy paper. Um, if you were using a, um, a much lower grade quality paper, I have seen some washi tapes tear the paper if it's a very thin paper. But in general, most planners, I will say, it, washi tape is not going to peel it off. So that's number two. That's a second way that you can use your washi tape. Okay, we're gonna morph or so flip towards the back of my planner now. And I'm going to go to the very back section. And so remember we talked about having bookmarks? Well, you can also make side tabs. So let me see if you can see it here. Side tabs are gonna look like this. So if you don't want bookmarks at the top, you can also make a couple side tabs and that way you can mark different sections of your planner. So with the side tab, it's pretty easy as well. All I did was take a strip of washi tape, there we go, taped one on the side, folded it over, and then pressed it on the other side. I did leave a little bit of an edge here, okay, so I didn't fold it directly, like right over the paper. I did give it a little extra edge so it could stick out. So that way when I'm looking for this section, um, it's just a little divider tap. So that's another way. So you can have, this is not as much repositionable. I kind of want it to just stay where it is. That's why it's stuck on both sides like that. So side tabs, or you can do them on top, divider tabs are kind of just kind of be there because now it's like stuck on itself as well. Not necessarily permanent because you can always take it off pretty easy, but it's not as movable as, um, as like the little what are these called <laughs> as the little um, bookmarks are okay so you can use it as a divider tab so that would be um, the third way that you can use washi tape so I got kind of two divider tabs going on one here and one here okay another way so what is this way number four we're kind of looking at two different sheets so let's focus on this one um, Way number four is just to give a little color to your page. So I put a strip down, this is purely a decorative border, and a little strip under maybe like the title of my page. This is my notes page, put it there, but you can put this under in any page really, in any planner if you just have a little heading or a little title. And so it just looks pretty. It just gives it a little bit of color little bit of cuteness but you know you still have all your space to write and plan and still be very functional but at the same time give your planner a little bit of color and decoration so that's way number four for your washi tape okay now on to this side so I kind of have two different things going on here I'm gonna show you what the online biz mom work and life planner looks like so you get an idea so this is our weekly layout. It's kind of in a dashboard layout. So on this side is all of the week and the check off to-do list, master to-do list and all that. On this side, it's blank, so you can use it how you want. There's a dot grid if you kind of like bullet journaling or making graphs. I love it for mind mapping. And there's two kind of empty boxes for like subheadings if you want to make lists 
or just write out some ideas and then blank space. So you can use this however you want. What I found was helpful is to use washi tape to help me kind of divide up the space so I can use it in various different ways. So that is what I did over here. So if you can see, these were two gray boxes. Again, right here, two separate gray boxes. And what I did was I put some washi tape down the middle and this is where the boxes were separated. So I put three strips of washi tape and now I have four different um, areas to make lists. So if I wanna write down some meals for the week, if I have some stuff I need to get done for the week, stuff um, for work, stuff I need to get down to the house for the week, and then self-care for the week. And then I can write down some four different lists. So if you're a list-making mama and lists are like your jam, this is a great way to divide up these two boxes and make four different listing areas. Okay, another way, and I don't know if I would do these both, like do this and this, but I was just kind of just wanting to show you. So another way is, um, making some border boxes with your washi tape. So border boxes are easy. It's four strips of tape, start on one and you just kind of make a little border. Um, and then that way you can have like a little designated area. If you have a project you're working on, then you can just keep that written in there. Or if you want just a little side box for your meal planning, or if you're doing like um, keeping track of something like your water intake or whatever, if you just want to just kind of border out a section, washi tape is perfect for that and so again if you're looking here you don't have to do it like i did like two big boxes you can just border out a little box and that's kind of like your little corner if you want to do something with that um you could do two boxes and leave this part blank so you don't have to do it like this per se but i'm just showing you different ways so you can do a border box or you can uh, make strips to make columns so that's going to be what where do we add four and five <laughs> different ways um number four and number five different ways that you can use your washi tape okay number six the six way to use washi tape and this one i kind of say for last because it's like the most complex even though it's not that complex is to make little flag marks so again, this dot grid can be used for anything, um, but if you need to make like some more notes on something and you need to make like kind of divide it out, I like using little flag marks. So I'll do a little flag mark and then I'll write down kind of the main thing and then I can write down some notes about it or just break down the tasks that I need to complete it. Um, so you kind of have like three bullet points almost. So this one, the reason why I said it's a little more complicated, but it's really not, is you're just gonna take a little piece of washi and then take your scissors and cut out a little triangle. And that's it. You just cut out a little triangle, stick it down, and boom, you're done. <laughs> um, so that is tip number six um, to use washi. And then the last tip, oh, here we go. Way number seven to use washi is to use it to cover up these gray boxes. Again, so you got some gray boxes here. They're actually the perfect width for washi tape. So you can do it in two different kinds of ways. The first way is if you just wanted to add color but you still want to write in the box. Now, for this particular launch of washi tape, it is more um, heavy on the graphics, like it's not just a plain color. So it is a little harder to read any writing. But if you, I used um, permanent marker because washi tape does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, so pen, like a ballpoint pen is good. Felt tip and gel pens may not write well on washi tape. But if you're gonna write over something that is much more, um, has a lot of design on it, you're going to want to use at least a fat permanent marker to write on top. So this is kind of just up to you on how you like it. If you don't mind the look of a lot of pattern behind what you wrote, I would say it's just a nice way to decorate the boxes. Um, but if you are not a fan of too much pattern behind it, you can also write up above it too. So you could just have like a little like it would be kind of like this, like just a little decoration at the bottom, and then you could write 
what you need to put in the boxes on the top. So that would be number seven, A and B, because remember I said two ways to do it. You could write on the tape or you could write above the tape. So there you go, seven different ways that you can use your washi. I'll go over them again really quick. There's making um, tabs on the side or on top, or you can make movable, here we go, um, movable bookmarks. That's the word I was looking for. You can also make little flags as like bullet points. You can just decorate, pure decoration, at the bottom, at the top. You can do vertical lines to make lists. And also you can block out stuff. Oh, and I have another one. Oh, I forgot about the taping in of items. Here we go. I'm trying to move this so you're out of the sun. Taping in of small items or keepsake items. And then I have a bonus one, tip number eight. If you don't want to tape in an item, you can also make a little pocket. So some planners have pockets on the front or back and some planners don't. My signature planner does not come with a pocket. Um, Discbound planners, you can buy pockets that you can snap in. Again, I also have a link for that. You can buy some real, just some simple ones in Amazon. But look how cute this is. So you can make a pocket. And this was just a brown paper envelope I think that Meleko gave me, okay? And then I just took my washi tape and put it a little border and then I just did that for some decoration. And then you can put your cards or keepsakes, coupons, whatever you need, put your reminder cards in there, receipts, you know, if you're tracking money, if you're doing like envelopes, cash stuffing envelopes, anything like that. And then you got a, the cutest little card. Um, I know as a business owner, like my husband likes this idea of, to keep his receipts, you know, to track his expenses. And what's nice is again, washi tape can come right off. It's pretty strong if you got them on all four sides, but you can peel it off easy. And then you can just, you know, keep your envelopes together if you need them. So there you go, my friends. That's eight different ways to use washi tape. Again, this washi tape is from Melee Co. I have a little swatch back here. And Melee Co. washi tape is going to be one of my featured. There we go. I'm trying to get you out of the sun. One of my featured um, brands that I'm going to be highlighting in my May spring product launch. So here you go again. Um, these are the four different washi tapes. So thank you for watching and keep a lookout because the next couple of videos will be more about the spring launch. I probably will have more tips and showcasing the washi tape. I'm also going to be having stickers, planner stickers, and also post-it notes so you'll be able to see those products um, before they launch uh, the first week of May. All right, friends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.